Yeah, no, it was an awesome summer. Um, you know, I definitely feel uh, ready to go um, in as good a shape as it's going to get. And, um, you know, uh, obviously I had a lot of fun um, with the family this summer, but I'm really anxious to get things started again here this year. Your thoughts on the group that's returning here? A lot of the same pieces that were here for the stretch run last year. Yeah, no, I, I'm really excited about this year, obviously. Um, a lot of key pieces. You know, getting Melzi signed was, was obviously huge for our group. It, obviously a, a heck of a player, a good leader in our room. And, and uh, no, it, was, it was great to see them get that done. So was, I couldn't be happier for them. And obviously the pieces that we added um, to make this group that, that much better, I'm, I'm excited for it and uh, I'm excited to get camp started. Was the summer any different than normal just having to prove to yourself that the leg was fine? Like when we last saw you, obviously you were in yeah. a boot. And... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't too much different. Uh, I just knew it had to take its time to heal. Um, but uh, for myself, as soon as it was healed, I was trying to get skating again and, and get back on the ice as early as possible. I think, you know, for me, um, you know, that's what I get better um, on the ice. I, I find when I'm on the ice a lot more. And um, yeah, as soon as I, I was able to and got the, the go ahead from the docks, I started skating and been on the ice ever I'm since. So. Sorry, guys. Yep. Bit, he's a little bit. Yep. Sorry. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Any. Uh, Thoughts on going into the final year of your deal without a new extension? Um, you know, obviously it's uh, you know it's it's a lengthy process, and you know I'm kind of leaving that up to to my agency and, and Pat Morris, and, and uh, you know just keeping it private, and you know just uh, you know obviously I want to be a Vancouver Knock, and I want to stay here, and I love our group, my wife and I love the city. Um, you know, it's it's kind of. I w if I wanted to play for one team for my whole career, it'd be the Vancouver Canucks. So, um, obviously, it's a, uh, a long process, and and uh, we'll see where it goes. Are you surprised at all if someone had said at the end of last season that you'd be back for pre-prospects tournament and you still don't have a deal? Um, you know, I, it, it is what it is. Again, it's just you know I, these things take time, and sometimes uh, you know, they take longer than others. And you know, for me, um, just focusing on. You know my, uh, you know myself being ready for camp, being the best leader I can, on and off the ice, and and uh, you know the chips will fall where they fall. Um, you know, uh, again, I'm excited for camp. I'm excited about our group, so can't wait to start. So you're not hiding a new contract in your back pocket? No, 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 no. It's, uh, you know, it's still like I said, it's it's ongoing, and and um, you know, for me, it, it's not my job to kind of to worry about it right now. I, uh, I'm back with the guys. I'm excited to be back. And um, you know, I'm excited to get things going. Like it, was, it was awesome being out there in the skate today and, and seeing the new guys and just laughing with the guys again and having fun. And um, you know, I can't wait for camp to start. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, you, you, know how this, you know how this market works, though, right? Like, it's, until it's done, it's going to be a question. Like, are, are you confident that you can shelve all this and just keep your head down and play? Yeah, no, I, I think, you know, again, like it's, it's, it's not up to me. It's, you know, it's obviously I'm definitely going to have to say. But uh, I'm leaving. I have a lot of trust in Pat, um, my agent, and, and uh, you know, I, again, like I've, I've expressed that for a long, long time. I want to be a Canuck, and, and I, I want to stay here. So um, for me, though, I, again, I, I can't let that that kind of stuff bother me. I can't, you know, always have it you know, hang over my head. For me, I, I have to put my head down and be the best leader I can. I'm just, I'm a Vancouver Canuck right now. I'm going to be a Vancouver Canuck um, for this full year, and um, you know, I'm going to be the I'm going to try to do whatever I can to help this team win, and uh, that's what my main focus is right now. Well, it, although you know what this market is like, it's also been so different in terms of the speculation around you than perhaps it was for JT, even dating back 10 months or so. Uh, does, does that part of it, what, what, can you take any sort of like a, a calming from the fact that you've been so consistent, the organization's been so consistent about seeing your future? Yeah, no, I, I definitely have confidence in that, and you know, um, no, I, it, I obviously my career started here, and you know, like I said before, my wife and I love the city, uh, we love the people, we love the fans, the organization. So, um, you know, it, it, you know, you always have that in the back of your mind that you're you're going to be a connect for life. Um, again, you know, I, I want that to happen, and and um, you know, it's going to be. We'll see what happens here, but you know, that these, these things do take time, and, and um, hopefully we can get it done soon. Well, there was optimism earlier in the summer that a, a deal would be done or, or expedited. Was that optimism that you shared? Yeah, no, I yeah, I, I definitely wanted to, to get things done, and 
And um, like I said, I, I do. I want to. I want to be a Canuck, and and um, you know these things. Uh, like I said, I, I keep. I feel like I keep repeating myself. But they, t- you know, yeah, they 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 take time, and um, you know we're gonna see what happens here. Well, how different is this hockey team up front than the one that you played for at the end of last season? Because there's been a lot of changes that we've seen. What do you see with? Transport. Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, adding the guys that we we added, um, Mikhaev and and uh, Kuzmenko, and like these guys all have high end skill and speed, and and I like that we've added that speed up front, and obviously bringing Melzi back is is obviously huge. He's a big part of our group, offensively and uh, and defensively, doing you know penalty killing, and and obviously a great guy to have around the room. Him, Melzi, and I have a really good relationship, and and are great friends off the ice. So to to have him. Here for locked in is uh, is huge for us, and um, you know I, I'm really excited about this year. You've always prided yourself every off season to improve something. I know you had to rehab this past summer. Did you do anything differently? Um, no, I think uh, for me it's just is continuing to work on my 200 foot game. I mean, one thing I always do is is I do do my power skating every single summer, and and uh, and kind of. You know, obviously keep up with the pace of the game, um, but for me, a lot of it, maybe, uh, you know, my playmaking ability, just you know, kind of adding that part part to my game, being able to make plays in the offensive zone and and uh, and being responsible in my defensive zone as well. So, uh, you know, adding that kind of part to my game, I think will will definitely help the team out. Did your injury impact the schedule of your off season? Like, were you later getting back on the ice, or later getting back in the gym? Or? Not necessarily. Maybe the gym um, a little bit. You know, it kind of impacted the beginning of it. Just you know, usually I like to jump right into it, so I kind of had to ease into it this year. And um, but for for skating, I usually start um, you know end of May, and that's kind of exactly when I started again this year. So um, that did impact it a little bit. Obviously, you felt a little bit at the beginning, but I mean, I'm. 100% ready to go and and looking forward to it. Bowser Pauline has mentioned a couple of times that he needs young players on this team to take a step, and I think that's all part of this discussion about culture. And Lee Shum, I know you're not young, but you're not old. But what what do you think you guys uh, among the young core? What what do you think you need to do more of or do better at? Yeah, um, I think uh, you know, like when I was a, a young guy, I had to take a next step too, and I think. You know, I think everybody knows that. Um, for us, I think it's just being more consistent on a daily basis, and and coming to the rink and and just having that confidence that you know you're gonna you're gonna win. And I think for us, um, you know, in the past we haven't been as consistent. Um, and I think to have that culture, that winning culture, that every night you know you're gonna go in and everybody's gonna give it everything they have to to um, you know to help the team win. And I think if Everybody makes that next step where we have a winning attitude, and I think it's just going to translate on the ice. How you, hard is it to find that capacity, though? Like that is the young, that's the thing the young players seem to need to find. Yeah, there actually is way more that you have to give than you ever realize. No, for it. sure. And I think uh, you know, you watch veteran teams and you watch guys that consistently make the playoffs every single year. They have that that swagger and they have that that attitude where every night they know they have a really good chance at winning and and kind of that winning mindset where you know you don't. You don't take losing lightly, and you you hate to lose, and and you know you lose sleep over it at night. And I think to to have that in our room, to have that in our group, in our room, that you know winning is not or losing is not an option here. And um, you know, I think that's going to take us to the next level. But it also Talk. comes down to how you translate into all your prep and your workout too. No, for sure. Yeah, I mean, every you know you have to do what your the strength guys are asking you. You have to come in and, and put your work in every single day. You know, you, this is such a tight. A tight league, and and to have that that next step on teams and other guys around the league, um, knowing that you're working that much harder than everybody else, I think again it's going to translate. You talked Talk. about in the past about the city showing you that, but was that something? Was there a moment in the last couple of years where you realized you could still go, you could still go? Yeah, no. I, again, you learn so much every single year that you're in the league, and you do, you watch different guys. Obviously, Hank and Danny were huge influences on me, and you know, it's just again that that winning attitude that. Never, never quit, and the uh, you know their work ethic to to be the best at in every single drill and every fitness test. I think to have that mindset in every single guy in our room is going to be is going to be huge.